I feel that one of the first lessons is that we should teach at all levels what true Americanism means and is. Today, the latest weapons, coupled with the fighting skill of the American soldier, stand ready, on the alert all over the world, to defend this country, you, the American people, against aggression. The film you are about to see was produced as a troop information film, specially prepared to alert the American soldier against a hidden enemy, an enemy that can destroy morale, rob the soldier of the will to fight, and even trick him into surrender. Enemy propaganda. Although this study of communist deception was made for a military audience, we think that you, the American public, will also find it pertinent and enlightening. This material is just another sample of what you might call the communist war without guns. And this is some of their ammunition. I'm Colonel Foster. I'm going to be your guide for a short tour through the maze of communist propaganda. As for America, the Soviet people are told that conditions here are hopeless. In their theaters, the Soviet see newsreels made up especially to show the terrible truth about us. This is America of the big capitalists. Wall Street with its big impressive buildings. But this is the real America, where the workers live. Since they are underpaid, they must eke out a few pennies extra by peddling fruit on the streets. Almost every day in America, you will see police and goon squads attacking the workers who try to strike. But for the wealthy class, there is not a care in the world. Did you recognize those old newsreel scenes? You know how typical they are of America. As for the Soviet soldier, he is also a prime target for the Kremlin propagandists. The Soviet soldier's head may be full of propaganda and his ears may be ringing with lies, but he's still a soldier and a tough one. In all his life, he will never hear the truth about the other side. Are you really fighting for freedom? Do you not realize by now that you have been sent by the Wall Street merchants to crush Korea's attempt to gain independence? You cannot beat 500 million Chinese and Koreans. Our brave and heroic soldiers will never surrender. Don't let your capitalist leaders deceive you. Don't fight their aggressive war. Let all foreign troops withdraw from Korea. Go home and live in peace. Well, every GI in Korea wanted nothing more than to go home and live in peace. If only the communists would do the same thing. Oh, Yankee, you die now! 
I do not say the Americans are bad, only mistaken. Where is this Soviet threat they talk about? Stalin is dead. The Soviets want only peace. So why don't the Americans go home? Well, if you hear enough of this kind of gossip planted by the communists, enough phony rumors of America's secret plans to launch a war, enough big lies, little lies, and medium-sized lies, maybe you'll begin to believe some of it. Isn't there an end to this? No. There is no end. Not until communism ends, under the weight of its own evils and its own lies. The best defense against enemy propaganda is truth. For a communist, a thing is true only if it advances the communist cause. It is false if it does not. The soldier who understands how enemy propaganda works is forewarned and forearmed. In this knowledge lies his strength.